This is the uh, Algebra 1 End of Course Practice Test 2, question number 28. This thing's kind of a beast, I'm not going to lie. It's not really that complicated, it's just the idea of how do you square something with an, with an exponent. So you have x to the fifth and it's the square root of the x to the fifth. It's kind of mind jarring a little bit, but not that much. Let's do the number part first, or the integers. So the square root of 576 over 6. 576 the square root is 24 over 6, so the number in front should be 4. That doesn't really help us that much other than uh, right now it gets rid of that 6 under the square root thing so we can say that D is out. Because we cleared up all the number parts, that's done. Now let's look at the square root of x to the fifth over y to the second, and that's going to be eventually over regular x squared y squared. So the idea of taking a square root of something is essentially the opposite of squaring it. So I could say that the square root of x is equal to x to the one half. So I'm going to change it a little bit and since it's the square root of x to the fifth what I'm going to do is look at it as x to the fifth times one half and x and y sorry to the second times one half. Now, if I can get something to pop out, everything's going to work really well for me. I don't know why I had y to the second here. It should be y to the fourth. So it should be 4 times 1 half. That makes a heck of a lot more sense. Now, uh, 4 to the times 1 half gives me 2, which means after I take this square root away, I end up with a normal, regular, everyday y squared in my numerator. The denominator is not affected by the square root. Unfortunately, the x doesn't work nearly as nicely, because this ends up with 2 and a half. If I have the fraction, it means that I have to kick it back under the square root. But this 2 does mean that I get to pull out an x squared. That's OK. The problem is I've got this little bit of uh, 1 half left over. And like I said before, x to the 1 half is the same as the square root of x. So I need to tag the x. Uh, the square root of x to be left over. Anything you have left over stays underneath. If it was to the third, or you're taking a cube root, by the way, you do it times one third, and say you had x to the fifth in this situation, you do five times one third, and you'd end up with uh, one and two thirds, which means you could pull out an x, but under that square root, there'd still be two x's sitting there for you, or x squared would still be sitting there for you. It is what it is, but now we can do some cancel work. These cancel and these cancel because you know they're left over, which means the only thing left other than the number would be the square root of x. So I can pop out 4 times the square root of x, which means my answer to number 28 is just b. Not really super difficult to do, but if you can remember that the square root of any uh, variable is the same as multiplying it by that variable times one half, and if it's to the third power, if it's the cube root, it's to uh, one third, whatever. Whatever your remainder happens to be, when you do the divide by 2 thing, so this would be 2 remainder 1, so your remainder goes back as an exponent underneath your square root, and anything that you pull out becomes the new exponent on the free and clear outside of the radical. So a little bit complicated, not really. should be able to get the correct answer that way. So good luck.